So, now let us do a last minute revision on the subject of physics for class 12 CBSC. So, we will take up the chapter number 4. So, that is moving charges and magnetism. So, we have some important formulas at a glance. We have number 1 the biot savart law. So, given by the magnetic field due to the current element dB is given by mu naught divided by 4 pi into I d L sin theta divided by R square. And the magnetic field due to a long straight conductor equal to mu naught so divided by 4 pi into I divided by A in bracket sin theta 1 plus sin theta 2. And the magnetic field due to an infinitely long straight current carrying wire is given by mu naught into I divided by 2 pi R. The magnetic field at the center of a current carrying circular loop is given by mu naught divided by 2 into I divided by R for so one turn and for n number of turns it is given by mu naught into n into I divided by 2 R. The magnetic field on the axis of a circular current loop of n turns is given by mu naught into n into I into A square. So, divided by 2 into in bracket R square plus A square. So, raised to the power of 3 by 2. The ampere circuital law it states that the line integral of the magnetic field. So, that is B around any closed circuit is equal to mu naught times the total current passing through this closed circuit. So, this defines the ampere circuit law. The magnetic field due to a solenoid is given by so one at the interior and the other one at the end. So, uh, so at the interior of the solenoid we have the magnetic field equal to mu naught into n into i and at the end we have half into mu naught into n into i. And the force on a moving charge in magnetic field is given by F equal to the magnetic field into Q into V sin theta and that is equal to in terms of vector F equal to Q into so vector V into the vector B. So, that is we have the magnetic field so vector. So, then we have the motion of a charged particle in a uniform magnetic field. So, we have two cases. So, case 1 and case 2 if V is perpendicular to B. So, then we have R equal to M V divided by B Q. So, so which implies V equal to B Q R divided by M. So, therefore, T equal to 2 pi M divided by B into Q. And the kinetic energy is given by B square Q square R square divided by 2 M. And in the second case, if V makes an angle theta with B, so that is the magnetic field. So, then we have R equal to, so M V sin theta divided by B Q and this implies V sin theta equal to B Q R divided by M. So, therefore, T is given by 2 pi M divided by B Q and the kinetic energy is given by B square Q square into R square divided by 2 M and the pitch is given by 2 pi m v cos theta divided by b q and this is further equal to v into t. The time period or the frequency of a revolution is independent of kinetic energy or the velocity of the charged particle. The force the current carrying wire. So, therefore, the force current carrying wire. So, vector f equal to i into L into B vector. So, therefore, we have so F equal to B i into L sin theta and the force per unit length F is given by mu naught i 1 i 2 divided by 2 pi r and the force on wire of length. So, capital L is given by F equal to mu naught i 1 i 2 L divided by 2 pi r. The torque on a rectangular coil in a uniform magnetic field is given by so torque equal to n into i b a sin theta and this is further equal to m into b sin theta and this is also equal to in terms of vector we have so m vector into b vector. So, next we have 
i equal to k divided by n b a into 5 for m c g and the figure of merit so that is g is equal to k divided by n b a and the current sensitivity i s is given by phi divided by i and this is also equal to n b a divided by k and the voltage sensitivity is given by v l so v suffix s and that is equal to phi divided by v so which is also equal to phi divided by i into r so which is also equal to in terms of sensitivity the current sensitivity we have i s divided by r so then we have the conversion to ammeter the shunt resistance s yes, is given by i g into g divided by i minus i g and the ammeter resistance is given by a equal to g s divided by g plus s and the galvanometer current i g is given by i s divided by g plus s and when so conversion to voltmeter the resistance r is given by v divided by the galvanometer current i g minus g and i g the galvanometer current i g is given by v divided by r plus g and v r is equal to g plus r and further you can see the graph of the variation of magnetic field from center to wire so this figure represents the graph of the variation of magnetic field b so variation from center of the wire so here you can see the variation of the magnetic field so with respect to r and similarly in this graph you can see the variation of magnetic field at the axis of a circular coil so this so figure depicts the variation of the magnetic field b so with respect to the axis of a circular coil so and here you have r as the x axis so so like so that we have completed a last minute revision on this chapter so number 4 so this completes a quick revision and we have noted some important points at a glance and so this finishes the, the last minute revision on this chapter okay thank you